Well, we started um, at university in Sydney uh, early, coming from an early childhood perspective and um, we've remained true to that ethos of uh, child-centeredness from day one where um, we look at the uh, developmental uh, level of the child, um, the preschooler mainly, and uh, see what interests them um, and we speak in a language and sing in a language that they understand and that comes from their world. Um, and that's, that's enabled us to continue and uh, to be vital and uh, in the young child's life uh, over the years. Uh, you know, it's been, been a wonderful almost 30 years. Emma and Lockie and Simon uh, joined the Wiggles when um, the original uh, Murray, Jeff and Greg retired in 2012. So um, these guys uh, have been the new generation and we've produced TV series, uh, DVDs and um, for the children that have grown up with Emma, Lockie and Simon and myself, they are the Wiggles. And uh, of course we've got Dorothy the Dinosaur, Wags the Dog, Captain Feather Sword and Henry the Octopus. But uh, we, having a, a woman in the Wiggles has been such a wonderful change of energy and uh, where girls used to come to the Wiggles show and Dorothy was their role model, it's now Emma. And yeah, there, there is such a new energy now with this new group and, and I think the band and the sound has changed as well. You know, it used to be Greg singing a predominant amount of the vocals and now Lockie and Simon are, are beautiful, well, very well trained singers and, and the three of us sing together and the harmonies has really changed, I think, the sound of the music while continuing it on but making it new for this generation of children. And I, I think with the female element, even though it's not stereotypically female as per se, a, a lot of the children are coming to the show dressed in amazing outfits, you know, ballet tutus and, and dresses and even some of the boys are wearing bow ties and bows on their shoes and I think that entire element of dress up has become quite, uh, you know, it's become such a big part of the show now and they do come to the show dressed as their favourite Wiggle or Dorothy the Dinosaur and I think they love coming dressed in something that they feel comfortable in and um, we're embracing that. Yeah, when, when we uh, do a show, you look out at the audience and there must be 80% uh, of, would you say, of the children dressed like Emma. With Lockie, Lockie took over from Jeff the Purple Wiggle and Jeff's trademark uh, was wake up Jeff, he'd fall asleep and all the audience would say wake up Jeff. You know, the wake up, it was such a, a huge part of the show and I think that's what originally made Jeff such a, a popular character early on was he, he wasn't as outgoing or as outspoken as the, the other Wiggles, but they, his, his little bit in the show was to fall asleep and the children absolutely love it. So to, to take that out when Jeff retired was probably not gonna work. So we kept it in and the, the wake up Lockie thing works. So it happens a, a few times in the show. Um, yeah. But I think going back on the, 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 new, the new energy too, I think it's, um, it, it is so nice for, for us to be bringing our own character in a, in a performance space. We saw a Broadway show last night and uh, they're always playing characters. What's so nice about this and why I think it still works is because we're, we're able to, Emma brought her talent of 20 years of, of dancing. I get to bring my, my singing and songwriting ability in and the, the children get to see all, all those different levels. They get to say hi to Lockie and hi to Anthony and hi to Emma and Simon. I think that's, that's what's so nice and the parents love that too. They comment on how they love the individual talents and they enjoy watching it so then they they get to watch and enjoy it with their children. Yeah we're so excited because uh, our TV series in the States uh, is now on Universal Kids and on Hulu um, and Universal it's, it's on what time? It's on at 3 p.m. weekdays and it's been such a great uh, new energy for us, a, a new platform, a new environment. And, and we, we worked really hard on the series Wiggle, Wiggle, Wiggle. It's, it's a longer format, so it's about 22 minutes each episode and features lots of different content from different countries and traditional dances and nursery rhymes and lots of new songs and costumes. And it's been a great series to put together. So it's going to be four times a day on Universal and that's a big... That's so fantastic for us because a lot more children are going to see the Wiggles and um, 
uh, I think we'll be um, hopefully the same levels we were, if not bigger than we were back in the early 90s when it was absolutely massive because the quality is still there and the entertainment value and the educational value is there. Um, so it's just getting in front of people and with Hulu and Universal and doing live tours. We've also just done a live tour and we're going to come back next year and do a bigger tour. So uh, it's great, mate. Enjoying it too, Lockie. Loving every second. We're yeah. playing so much live. That that's another part of the show that I think is so fantastic because we kind of left the whole backing track part aside and we you know we were learning new instruments all the time and we get comments from even the staff at the venues are coming up and saying how much they appreciate just listening to the, the live music even at the sound checks and I think for the parents too to be able to let their kids have a great dance at the front of the show and they can sit back and actually enjoy the music too is a real yeah. a real feature of the Wiggles live show. Preschoolers have got mum or dad's iPhone or smartphone, they've got the iPad, uh, they've got the TV screen, they've got TVs in the, in the car. Um, and it would be great uh, for us to be able to communicate with the children in all those, those mediums. What the challenge for parents is, is to, of course, limit um, the time the children are right in front of it. One thing I will say about our Wiggles is we encourage children while they're watching to be active. We've had such a great uh, response with YouTube. It's been so helpful for well, YouTube's us. YouTube's another one. Yeah, ac right across the yeah. world. And we've been able to reach different countries that we haven't been able to reach. This year, I think our YouTube subscribers have gone up 400%. Mm. You know, and I, yeah, I think that that long form um, viewing is is so it's so wonderful and it emulates the you know what the children are watching on TV you know watching a TV episode but it's a bit longer so they have more variety to watch and we did a, a nursery rhyme special which goes for about 45 minutes and it's just a great compilation of lots of different traditional songs and and then we did an Emma ballet uh, feature and uh, with a ballet bar and, and what Anthony was saying it's it's a great way to have children be interactive with the video as well. What I really love is that the, you know, all the new Wiggles, which is you know seven years now, but the guys are all speaking that this is their career. Um, uh, and for me, I, I love this so much. And I, I do it because I love it. And I'd love to just keep enjoying it, keep giving quality uh, entertainment and education and music and theatre to children. Um, that's, that's my long-term term goal, and keep communicating in a language they understand. Yeah, yeah. I, and I think we've got some really exciting new projects that we're working on. I mean, we always think of the next project after we're doing the current project, but we've just finished a feature called Wiggle Pop, and it features different homages to pop music over, over the last maybe 60 years or so. Yeah. Uh, so we've just done that. We're about to work on an Emma series. Um, we're still going to be touring, so we're going back to Australia, then off to Canada, and then next year we'll be back in the States. So it's an exciting, you know, next 12 months for us.